Hey everybody, welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how I make homemade rabbit hay. It is super fast, super easy, and super amazing. Much better than the store-bought stuff, both for your pocket and for your rabbit's health. When there comes a day when I decide I want to make rabbit hay, I begin the process like I would any other morning where I'm picking regular greens for the bunnies. I take a bucket and some hedge clippers and head out to wherever I'm harvesting for the day, whether that be in the woods or in the field or in the orchard. I will clip weeds just like I would regularly for feeding fresh. I'll grab all sorts of things I know my rabbits like, and some things I know they don't like, but I know are good for them. Then, once my bucket is full, I head to the shop and lay out a big tarp. This garage is big and covered with a roof. It is fully protected from wind and rain. The only concern we have here are the baby cats, who sometimes like to play with things like dried hay. So we'll have to see how that goes. But other than that, this is a perfect spot to dry hay. I will lay all the plants on the tarp, making sure they are layered very thinly so it's easy for the moisture to evaporate away over the next couple days. Thankfully, we live in a very hot place, so it's very easy for things to dry. If you live in a cooler place, or it's at a cooler time of year, maybe it's more like fall, it'll take longer for your stuff to dry. But because it's the middle of summer here in Missouri, these fresh plants will turn into dry hay in just a couple days. Now that everything is laid out, I just let them alone and wait for them to dry out. If I feel like it, I will maybe toss the hay a little bit, like turn it over, make sure all the parts are exposed to the air so they can dry properly. And now that it's a few days later, everything is completely dry. I can feel it with my hands and make sure that there are no wet or moist spots because any moist spot will mold and ruin your entire batch. Once my fresh greens have turned completely into homemade hay, all I have left to do is put it in long-term storage. Our storage setup is exceedingly simple. We just use some big trash bags and we'll stuff the hay in the trash bags. And now we have a bag full of hay ready for winter feeding when all the fresh plants have died back. See, I told you it was super easy. So hopefully now you feel a bit more confident in drying and bagging your own homemade hay for your own rabbits. I just love this whole process. I think it is so fun. Thanks for watching.